Hello, and this time we're checking out the 1969 Steam Chevelle owned by Tom Kimmel. This vehicle was built for General Motors. The GM Research Labs asked a guy named Bill Bessler, who was a, a steam guy, to convert one of their cars to steam back in the 1960s after the EPA asked General Motors what they might be able to do to come up with a cleaner burning vehicle. Uh, this vehicle actually is powered by kerosene. So you notice Bessler there on the steam generating unit, that big thing in the middle there. That's not a boiler. There's tubes in there that are filled with very, very hot steam. The vehicle is called the SE-124 steam engine, I guess is what SE stands for. You've got some cool, very cool cooling vents there on the fenders. Also some cooling vents and stuff on the hood we'll take a look at in a second. But uh, try to figure out what some of this stuff is here under the hood. Uh, over on the left, we've got an oiler. Oil is injected into the steam as it runs through the engine. The engine is actually a V8 that's been sawed in half. It's the back four cylinders that butt up against the uh, bell housing, and then it runs into a standard three-speed transmission. Uh, back here is a, a water tank, and of course the water goes into the uh, steam generator, runs into the engine, then cycles back around into the condenser, which looks like a radiator, but it's actually a condenser. And then there's the uh, air pump there. You'll notice that the vehicle's got uh, no power brakes, but it does have an alternator buried in there somewhere. And of course, all this plumbing here is just to move the steam around, and uh, that's how that works. Over here, we've got the uh, atomizer that atomizes the kerosene that gets blown into the uh, steam generator. Uh, a lot of plumbing, <laughs> a lot of plumbing under this hood. This vehicle ran, it actually ran very well, uh, and it's got 5,000 miles on its odometer. Uh, check out those little uh, blades down there. Those are off of uh, a model airplane, like, apparently, but they were used to move air through the condenser. That's not a radiator, it's a condenser, and that's what turns the steam back into water before it gets piped back into the system. This system actually does not lose water. It's a lossless system, which is uh, one of the things most people don't know about. The steam technology had gotten to the point where they had the systems that worked relatively well. This vehicle, in fact, you could get steam in 30 seconds and up to uh, a full head of steam in two minutes and then drive the car. Uh, so um, Bill Bessler provided the car to General Motors. GM took the car, ran a bunch of tests on it, uh, and then came to the conclusion that steam was not the future <laughs> in the automotive world. And they then gave the car back to Bill Bessler and said, hey, Bill, thanks for the efforts. They paid him for it, of course. Uh, and, of course, that's one of the reasons they say this is one of the few steam cars that actually made money because Bill Bessler got to charge GM for it, uh, and then they gave it back to him. He then donated it to Harrah's, the car museum, and then later on, Harrah's sold it. It went through a few different hands along the way, and then it wound up in the collection of Tom Kimmel, who's got a lot of really cool steam-powered stuff, including a steam-powered Volkswagen Beetle, which I might take a look at in a future episode, and also a steam-powered minibike and a few other really, really cool things. But, uh, yeah, this is just a four-door Chevelle with a steam engine in it, so you got to like that. Uh, and then as we walk around back, this rear end is pretty much uh, what you'd expect in a 69 four-door white Chevelle. Uh, the fuel goes in behind the license plate. I remember these vehicles when I used to pump gas. And you'd walk back here, you fold this down, and you pop off that cap. But this thing takes kerosene. This steam engine runs on kerosene. Theoretically, though, it could probably run on a variety of other fuels, depending on how you had it set up. Uh, that's one of the neat things about steam is theoretically it could be multi-fuel. So we've got a big old water tank back here. I assume the fuel tank's beneath the uh, trunk. And then you'll notice that neck on the right goes up into the uh, passenger side rear quarter. And I'll take a look at that in just a second. And you will see that there is now a water inlet there. So you can put more water into the system right there. So like I said, this steam engine powered Chevelle was built in 1969. Bill Bessler built it. And now it's in the collection of Tom Kimmel. Right now, the vehicle does not run, uh, but the engine does turn freely, and so Tom does hope to get it running one of these days. And when he does, I hope to go for a ride in it. Hope you enjoyed it. That is Tom Kimmel's 1969 steam-powered Chevelle.